Hi guys, welcome to our very first pre-recorded lecture. I'm so happy to kind of be able to interact with you guys today and have our first day one of school. Whether you're an eighth grader or a ninth grader, um, this year, you're, right now, our video is going to be the same because we're both studying the same content. So if I happen to go on an eighth grade page, just know it looks the same as the ninth grade or about. So we're going to go over just one more time how to get to Canvas. So this is how you're going to start each and every day at your class time, which we can go over that real quick. If you just give me a second. So I sent out, and hopefully you got it, a schedule of what our homeroom is going to look like, so our times. So whether you're in person or online, at 7.30 to 7.55, we're going to have our homeroom time. That's going to look a little differently just depending on who you are and what we're doing that day. So um, tomorrow we might be doing get to know, or sorry, tomorrow, Monday. We're going to, today, we're going to be get, getting to know each other a little bit, maybe do a small activity like that. Sometimes homeroom is going to be used for announcements where you need to know important information. Other times homeroom is going to be used as maybe... A quick study you have a test the next day or you have a test in one of the classes we want to review a little bit whether that be math English or science or social studies and then starting at 8 o'clock from 8 to 9 10 we are going to be having science um, it'll be in my room if you're physically there if not it'll just be um, on my canvas site then at 9 15 you're moving to math 10 30 to 11 you're gonna do part of your ELA your English with Miss Blake then from 11 to 12, you're going to have exploration. That's either going to be Spanish or band, depending on how the schedule works out. Then we'll have lunch. Um, at 12.30, you're going to continue and finish up your English les lesson. Then you're going to have social studies with Mr. Connor at 1.15. And from 2.30 to 3.30, you're going to have exploration number two. So that'll be social, stud or social studies, Spanish or band, depending on how the schedule lands. But you will be kept with your class. So if you're an 8th grader, you're going to be with all the 8th graders that were there that day. If you're a ninth grader, you're going to be with the ninth graders that were there that day. And that's just how we're going to roll with it. Um, this is our tentative schedule. So this is how we're going to be functioning for right now. But there's a chance that we're going to have to change it later on, especially if we all come back to school. Okay, so that was your schedule. That was step one. For our class and our purposes, I expect you to log in when our class starts. So at 8 o'clock, we'll have a link up for you. Sometimes, right now, we're going to do pre-recorded videos like this. But for your homeroom, you're going to log in so I can say hello to you, see your smiling face. But at 8 o'clock, that's when you're going to start your videos or you're going to log in, just depending on what kind of day it is. So <clears throat> there's that. We'll go back to how to get in. So it is, say, 7, um, or not 7.55, say it is... 7.20, I'm getting ready to start my day nice, bright, and early. I might still be in my pitas if I'm sitting at home. The very first thing you're going to do is log in to your account. And then you're going to go into Canvas. Remember, it is the orange or red, whatever color you see there, Canvas. And it's going to take you to this thing called your dashboard. You're going to go into whatever class you're trying to get into. So for right now, we're just going to go with our 8th grade. This brings you to my beautiful home page, which might look a little bit different if you um, were looking at it in previous days. But this is my, um, what we call Bitmoji classroom. It's got some different information for you if you click on the different things. So this had our supply list. That'll take you to Power School and Canvas. That'll take you straight to Canvas website. That takes you to the Emory homepage. That'll give you uniforms, all kind of good stuff. So if you have a chance, click around on that good stuff and start seeing what we're working with. Uh, as you can see, if you find this and we get here, I got a Zoom link for you guys to come into our class, say hello to me, and then we're pretty much going to peace out and watch this video. So here's some more important information. I have the supply list again, the course syllabus, a letter from me, and our calendar that we're going to be using. Here's what kind of explains how we're going to do the modules. So each week you'll go to modules on the left sidebar option, and you'll find the module with the correct date for the week. Then you'll see the work for each day under that week's module. 
Work will not be posted for that day until about 7.30 a.m. The work for each day will be labeled with the day of the week that we will be doing in class. For example, if you're doing work for Tuesday, you'll look for the things that are labeled day two. Everything labeled day two will be used and completed that day. Some work could be all online, like a Google Forms, while some might be a PowerPoint where you need to copy down the notes in your notebook. And then if you have any issues, there's my email and the school phone with my extension number. If you're having troubles, give us a call. But I'll walk you through what I just read. So this is your first day. This is what's going to come up when you are on my page. What is important to you is to go to modules. You won't see all these other options on here. It looks a little bit simpler. Actually, I can put it in your view. Okay, see, you don't have all those options. You just have a simpler thing. So we're going to go to modules. And you can see there's our first week of things to do. Well, first three days. I haven't quite figured out what we're doing on Thursday and Friday yet. It kind of depends how some things work out. But so everything labeled day one is things that I would expect you to do on Monday or today. So the very first thing is a link to their syllabus. I want you to look at the syllabus. I want you to read it over, kind of get to know it, and then go on to the next thing. So the next thing will take you to a PowerPoint of our five classroom rules. I want you to look at the five rules, go over it, learn them, and then you can close it. The very last link is going to take you to a funny YouTube video by um, two guys named Rhett and Link. It is about bathroom hygiene. So one of the things that we get to talk about now because of COVID, and maybe we should have been talking about it all along, is proper bathroom hygiene. So it's going to, this was made a while back, like a while, while back. So it's not going to talk about all that COVID stuff. But what it will talk about is a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that you are staying safe in the bathroom as far as cleanliness goes. There are some other things that we should discuss because of COVID. If you are in the bathroom at school, we're going to make sure that you're six foot apart from somebody, so you shouldn't be all up on each other standing in line waiting to go to the bathroom. If there's more than about four or three people in the bathroom, you're going to go ahead and wait outside in a line. We won't be sending you in masses to the bathroom, but if each one of the 8th grade teachers sends a person, that's four people in the bathrooms, and then it takes one 7th grade teacher to send someone. So you see how we could, you know, get a lineup in the bathroom. We just really want to make sure that you are still 6 foot apart. And also, just because we're not in there to see if you have your mask on, doesn't mean you should be taking your mask off in the bathroom. They're supposed to be worn at all times inside the building. Okay, enough of the COVID stuff. So once you've done all three of these things, you are ready to take a quiz on the syllabus, the rules, and the bathroom trip song. That's about 10 questions each. You can actually take this quiz twice. So you can take it the first time. You can see which ones you missed. It won't show you the correct answers, but it'll show you which ones you missed. And then you can take it again to try and get a higher score. The canvas is going to take the highest score that you do. So if you get a 90 on the first one and you get an 80 on the second one, you're going to get a 90. If you get a 90 on the first one and a 100 on the second one, you're going to get a 100. It's a simple, easy quiz. You should have no problem with it as long as you've read through and watched the videos. And then the rest of the stuff is for another day, so you don't need to do that. Don't check that out. Just stick to day one stuff. All right, guys, that's all that I have to talk to you about for Monday. We're really just trying to get things going, um, and they're going to go with some hiccups we already know. So if you've got any problems, please reach out. Remember, my email is right down here. You can reach me by email, which is my preferred. I check Remind, but not as often as I check email. So please email me if you've got to. Or you can call me by phone if you feel like it's an emergency. But the best way for me to help you is that email right there. Okay, guys, I hope you have a good day. And um, also... So I am going to post this video once I finish it and get the link right here underneath the Zoom. Where it will normally be posted is going to be in your modules with the day numbers on it. Okay? So, and I'll still post it there so you'll see it there tomorrow. But just remember, the videos are going to be found with the work. When you're looking for your work for class, you go to modules. Alright guys. Have a great day. Email me if you have questions, which you might, and that is absolutely fine. Email me with your questions. Thanks, guys.